Um, so the, the one thing I kind of wanted to discuss was um, we have a lot of different JavaScript groups. So there's a bit of um, one of the good things about the CampJS um, as in terms of it being a meetup um, was that we we're able to connect with a lot of the different meetups that are going on. So there's there's a SIGJS, there is a MELBJS, there is a BrizJS, and there is a CampJS. There's also um, there's an NZJS, believe it or not, that happens too. Um, there's a whole bunch of different um, sort of JS Asia um, events that keep happening, sort of very siloed, very independently. Um, and so Tim Oxley, um, I'm not sure if how many people in this audience know who Tim Oxley is. He organizes Camp JS, and he used to be a Brisbane guy as well, and at some point was the organizer of Camp JS as well. Um, Bruce JS, thank you. <laughs> Too many JSs in this in the conversation. Um, so from from that, we've all been discussing about this for a while. What we're interested in trying to do as a group of different JavaScript communities is actually come together under a banner. So one of the different ideas that we've got been um, following up is to try and create uh, JS Australasia as an organization where we can use the community pool on the ground to be able to um, sort of create a larger body that can help support every smaller group. So in the way that you have distributed architectures and distributed NPM modules and lightweight front-end components, we can all kind of have these individual meetup groups uh, and individual communities of really engaged people trying to check out different ideas and topics in the JavaScript communities. Um, and they can all be supporting a larger, um, a larger whole. And that in turn means that we'll have support from the larger whole. So um, that's sort of a thing that's happening in the sidelines um, out here. I thought it was useful to share um, because it's not obvious that you know you kind of go, oh, there's, there's that guy, Kevin, he, he does this BridgeJS thing. Um, there's actually a lot of these same roles verbatim kind of being placed around Australia and you have the same sort of thing going on. So right now at some point in Sydney or Melbourne you may have a JS meetup at the same time. And at some point I was actually trying to get like a telecast uh, of uh, SIDJS and BrizJS happening at the same time and I think I just chose a very poor moment where we had uh, time zone differences. So <laughs> that wouldn't have worked out quite the same. But um, that can still happen and under the same idea um, we're all trying to do uh, really really lame, very, very basic things to be able to get an organization going. So sponsorship, very, very important because we buy pizza and we have people providing us the facilities and we have these things so that you can attend for free. Um, there's different meetup group mentalities where if you just give, you know, two dollars per person, we can all raise enough to be able to buy a pizza or two, you know, and, and that way it goes, it goes around. Um, but we're very lucky in Brisbane to have a tight-knit community and be able to pull those things together. Um, so CampJS is a really large event um, and they usually have, you know, in excess of 130 people, 150 people, depending on the location and, and the, different, um, the different groups. Um, it's been in the Gold Coast, it's been in Melbourne now. Uh, we're going to have another Gold Coast one, but then we're going to have a Sydney one. So we're going to be bouncing this around and trying to broaden the idea. Um, so with that, JS Australasia is, is an idea where we can hopefully create one big club, one big organization, and have these chapters, and uh, BrizJS is one of those chapters. By doing that, we're able to get larger sponsors that sponsor the organization internationally, and we're able to supply them sponsorship. We're able to give a platform for people who are interested to spread their message wide that they support JavaScript, JavaScript developers. So if a small company in Brisbane decides that they want to try and give a little bit of money to try and get larger exposure, that helps us, helps the organization, helps JavaScript in general. Um, there's a lot of these things going on in the Ruby groups. So there's like a Ruby Australia. Um, and they usually don't have to want for any support or money when they do Rails Camp. Um, they, at the moment, they don't, you know, they, they can run at a loss quite happily with these events uh, because they have the support of the larger organization and that gets enough support as, a, as an Australasian community. Um, what happens with CampJS is it's completely and wholly set up through, um, through Tim Oxley. 
And so poor Tim Oxley has run at a loss for several years now trying to set this up, but considers, considers it quite, no, quite nobly and quite normal that he should sacrifice this to try and build a JavaScript community in Australia. And I think that's something that, that really hasn't been broadcast enough, that um, there's a whole bunch of individuals trying to do something for all of us. And I think if we can try and pull that together as, as, a, as a, under a banner, um, we can all rally under that banner. Um, so there's no, act, there's no actionable out of this other than stay tuned, I guess, um, and know that you can throw your support behind this kinds of stuff when it starts getting out to you. Um, so it's just kind of something that's happening in your community and you can, you can try and engage with that. If you're interested in engaging with that stuff, you should probably chat to me and we can try and see where you can fit in, where you can contribute. Um, but otherwise, you're gonna start hearing other things. Um, on, a, on a more micro level for this group, um, I'd like to set up uh, at least a club. If BridgeJS is a club, I can start doing very basic things like issuing tax receipts to our, to our sponsors, to our donors. And we can also define uh, an open governance. So one of the things that um, Tim was very interested in is trying to follow the same thing, and I'm not sure how familiar everyone is in the political scene with Node and, and IOJS. Um, so IOJS was a fork of Node itself, um, <coughs> trying to pull in some newer ideas and some alternate technologies. There was a differing opinion in the community in this kinds of open source thing. Um, now they've, they've sort of come to an agreement to create like an open, an open contribution model around that and an opening, like a governance group. So they took two people from each side and they now pulled and uh, merged those two projects back together. And it means that in the future, you're gonna see a, a, a really big jump to converge those two projects and know it's gonna go into great places out of that, essentially. Um, so in the same way that they've applied sort of a, an open governing body, sort of an open community um, around how they manage a JavaScript engine, essentially, for the server side, um, we can kind of do the same sort of thing for us. So we'd have a little community group of representatives for BrizzJS or for other groups around the place in Sid and Melbourne and everyone else, and they can represent the ideas and interests and, and they can get more community feedback and supply that to BrizzJS, and we can mold this these events as we see fit. So. If you decide we need more open time, we need you know, just lightning talks to be a primary focus, we need to do that a lightning talk night every once a month. Um, or we need, a, you know, we need to have enough in the kitty to be able to fly over an international speaker every month or every two months or something like that. Um, those kinds of opportunities exist, um, but they'll need, uh, you know, they'll need direction. So those kinds of things are hopefully in the works and they're, they're the kinds of things I'll be working on in the next X amount of months. Um, so we'll try and engage with the larger JavaScript Australasia community once that starts building up and there'll be a lot, th a lot of things happening with that. Um, so I guess I'll keep you all posted. Um, chat to me if you're interested in any of these topics. Um, but this is stuff that's happening. Cool. All yours. <laughs>